Religion without a personal encounter with Jesus Christ will not save the soul, and it will not bring the peace that your soul longs for. You may be a member of some other religion. You may be Catholic, Protestant, Jewish. You may be Hindu, Muslim. Whatever your background, you may not have it. When Mary prayed, for example, Mary wanted to be forgiven. Did she Mary ask? Did Mary ask forgiveness from Jesus? You didn't answer the question about what is prayer. Yes, 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 Does he need your assistance? He cannot talk for yourself. He cannot talk for himself. Does he need your assistance? What is prayer? You asked me a question, did Mary pray to Jesus? So what do you mean by prayer? Accordingly, I will answer you. Don't you understand what prayer is? What is okay. your understanding? Okay. My understanding could be different okay. from your understanding. Okay. Allah, please forgive me. Okay. It's prayer. So it's a request. So, so did, did oh, Mary, brother Jesus, yeah. Yeah. for example, for example, did Mary, when she prayed, exactly. she yes, wanted sir. to ask for... When Mary, hold on, hold on. When Mary prayed, for example, Mary wanted to be forgiven. Did she Mary ask? Did Mary ask forgiveness from Jesus? Yes or no? First of all, we let's go back to the first question about praying. Okay. Now we are going to forgiveness. You didn't answer the question about what is prayer. Does he need your assistance? He cannot talk for yourself. He cannot talk for himself. Does he need your assistance? Why are you coming? Then you come over here. Let me talk to all of you at the same time. I'm telling you, according. Brother, you will run away. I will not run away. I'll make you run away. Sorry, I will not run away. Yeah, because I'm very confident of what I say. Now let me say. You said prayer is asking God for something. So now Mary did ask Jesus at the at the wedding. The very first miracle that Jesus performed was Mary's request. So you can take that as a prayer, or if you do not take it as a prayer, fine. Okay. Can I ask you this? Can I ask you this? Excuse me. Excuse me. Preacher. Yeah. Yeah. It's a second time. I, I, I tried to make a volume, but okay. it stopped okay. already. So it's no problem. Yeah. No problem. He's very yeah. interested in his filming. Yeah. Less interested in the debate. <laughs> yeah. His okay. It's not mine. Doesn't matter. Uh, but, but, um. Listen, you're talking to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it true? We mostly follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As Christian, do you follow Jesus? Yes. Okay. We mostly pray in a masjid because our prophet pray in a masjid. All right. Now, Jesus never prayed in a church. Jesus prayed in a Jewish synagogue. Yes. Now, do you follow Jesus? Yes. Now, if Jesus, if if Jesus never prayed in a church, but Jesus prayed in a Jewish synagogue. Why is Why? it you pray in churches but not in Jewish synagogue? Exactly. Why? Are you an echo? Why? Are you an echo? Answer. Yeah, you know, because he's he's what's he's the best disturbing. Thing Jesus did? Mm. Ask, what's the, no one second. What's the best Please. thing Jesus did? Let him, let him I'm not sure. What's the best thing Jesus did? Come uh, on. Can, can I answer him? Answer. So, so who told you that Jesus only played in the synagogue? Who told you that Jesus? Let me let me correct Jesus your understanding. Let me correct your understanding. What? Jesus also prayed. Like for example, I can give you the Garden of Gethsemane when he was doing miracles. Before that, he prayed. It says very okay, often okay, in the Bible. Okay. No, 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 no. You ask me a question. Allow me to answer. Church. No answer. Let me answer. You, you ask me a church. question. Don't cut me out. You ask me the question. What? Allow me to answer. You're so he prayed in the church. Garden of Gethsemane. It says that very often in the early in the morning he would go to the mountains and pray. So he did not only pray in the synagogue. He 
prayed in other places as well. So who did Jesus pray to? Again, Jesus, Jesus was... Father. Didn't I answer this question before? So if you didn't hear me before, let me answer the same answer because it's the same question. Jesus was sent here to be an example oh. to show us how we should pray, to tell us what we should pray and to tell us when we should pray. So Jesus was the demonstration. But God sent his prophets to tell us. God sent his and prophets to tell us. The word of God says that we did not listen to his prophets. Therefore, the parable that Jesus quoted, he said, Therefore, I will send my only son. Okay, only yeah. son. Yeah. Not Was good. Jesus the only son? Yes. Only son. But, but, yes. but, 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 uh, did you say Jesus was son of God? Yes, Jesus is the son of God. But in yeah. your Bible, uh -huh. in the Gospel according to Matthew, okay. and in the Gospel according to Luke, yep. it gives the genealogy of Jesus. Yes. The forefathers. Okay. And in the genealogy of Jesus, in both Matthew and Luke, it says, mm. Jesus, son of Joseph. Very good. And in Matthew as well, it says, Jesus, son of Joseph, the carpenter. So okay. ask you my question. Okay. Is the genealogy of Jesus true? Yes, it is true. So was Jesus the son, was Jesus the true son of Joseph, the carpenter? Again, you did not hear what I said before. Jesus was always God. The Word of God never ceases to be God. The Word of God does not suddenly cease and then become man completely. No. In addition to being the Word of God, He took on flesh. He yes! took on flesh at one point of time. That flesh had a genealogy. That genealogy is recorded. But the Word of God has no genealogy because the Word of God is God. You didn't hear me before and I'm repeating myself. Okay, okay. Okay, are you a crusader? What you say is true. Okay. Let me tell them because I don't know. Okay. 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 Jesus did. Please, Christian. Let your Christian speak. Jesus made it. Let your Christian. Let your. So you are. Jesus said, "Search the scripture." Be quiet, man. Give eternal life. These are the tests of me. You know why? Every scripture from Genesis about him is about him. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Jesus, I like Okay, 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 quiet. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. Please go back to the mother. So, so, let, let him finish. Let him finish. So, so, so you, so you said that Jesus was always God, yes? Exactly. So, so, and you also said that genealogy of Jesus in the gospel according to Matthew and in the gospel according to Luke Same is answer. true. Yeah. Listen, mm. is true. So but they are telling us that Jesus was the son of Joseph the carpenter. So was Joseph the carpenter the father, stepfather of God? <laughs> Incorrect understanding again for the third time. Let me answer the question. The Word of God does not cease to be God. The Word of God, in addition to being Word of God, took on flesh at some point of time. This flesh, the flesh that it took, yes, while it was still God, additionally took on flesh. The flesh has mother, father. The flesh was born. The flesh was crucified. The flesh was di the flesh died. Because he is God, he can do it. I, My word cannot do it. My word can probably take plastic at some point of time, but his word can take flesh. So please understand, my God is powerful and he can do it. Your God does not have the ability to do that or step into his creation. My God can step into his creation by taking on flesh at any point of time he wants. Move forward. We Stop. Muslims believe yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created God limited everything. God. Limited now, God, yeah. Let me ask you. Yeah. Do you believe that Jesus created everything? Yes, he created right. everything. Did Jesus knock out question? Did Ooh. Jesus Okay. Did yeah. Jesus create his mother Mary? The word of God is the creator. For all things were created by him, through him, and for him. Therefore, he created the very mother that would bring his flesh in. So I hope that knockout question has been answered. He again because God 
because you didn't understand because coming back God is always God okay. he's neither created nor can he die in What? addition to I'm sorry I'm God, going back with the same thing brain. in addition use your brains when I'm answering you brain. when he took on flesh God when he mother. takes a flesh the flesh will have a mother the flesh will have a father okay. the flesh will be born so that does, does not mean that he ceases to be God so, does so please understand that and then ask me the knockout question so probably I will be knocked out does. but now I'm sorry the knockout question means that you didn't hear me does either your, you didn't hear me or you have been blinded by the deceiver your, does your god no insults okay does your god have a mother who is creation does like creation i just god. answered it it's on oh. video i just answered it i oh. said god is always god he does not he cannot be born he cannot die he cannot have a mother he cannot have a father but that god the word of god at some point of time in addition okay. to being god took on flesh that flesh that he took on will have a mother and a father so who created the, that flesh the god himself created that flesh so if he has the, to step into creation become one with us that's how he does it but he doesn't cease to be god he's still god but in addition to that he takes on flesh okay. is understand okay. that's the power of my god your god is powerless move forward move forward so move forward brother it makes sense brother. to me so you don't understand it just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not true hey hey let's brother brother everybody is asking brother, yeah let's move forward yeah okay don't ask me the same question because i'll give the same answer i said let's move forward you are saying forward but you are asking me the same question you did not understand you didn't understand god being god god cannot have again i'm telling you i'll answer your questions before you god cannot have a mother god cannot have a father god is not born god is not crucified god cannot die i hope i'm clear but now i answer the question but jesus was because born. the flesh brother, jesus, jesus also born. took on flesh jesus, jesus also took on flesh so jesus also took on flesh so the flesh over. died brother, the flesh brother, was born brother, the flesh brother, died brother, the flesh had a mother brother, the flesh had a genealogy brother, the flesh brother, was crucified let's go forward brother brother is very good in defending christianity Why God crucified himself? Okay, I leave it to you. Oh, There you are. You're running away. You told me I will run away. You told me that I will run away. You're running away. Shame. Nobody Then come. I just asked a question. It's a debate. Let him speak with me, brother. Okay, I just have a question. So Later. I will speak with you. I will speak with you. I will speak. Okay. I'm here only. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Listen. Sir. Yeah. In your Bible. In your Bible. in the book of acts chapter 2 verse 22 in the bible it says jesus of nazareth was a man sent by god to you to do miracles wonders and signs okay which god did among you mm mm-hmm. through him okay so the bible says jesus of nazareth was a man okay. sent by god yes is that true yes no, he doesn't believe it so jesus was sent by god yes oh. right at the beginning so of this debate be sent by god again same repeated are you going to answer the question also answer ah then allow me to answer, answer. right at the beginning of this debate i answered this question answer. i said my i gave you an example yeah, exactly i gave you an example my you got problem with three english three times he told you three times again let me repeat 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 okay let me repeat and don't ask me to repeat again because i'll repeat the same thing again the word of god is subject to the will of god the word of god is sent by the will of god my send my word my word is subject to my will but that does not mean that my word is lesser than my will my word my will are the same okay. you cannot put you you cannot put a hierarchy i'm sorry i'm talking to him not to you but if you want i'll talk to you later okay so my word is subject to my will i send my word so when i want to i will send my word but that doesn't mean my word is inferior to my I will okay i hope i'm clear because it's the second time i'm answering this question no you know in your bible excuse me in your bible in your bible in the book of acts chapter 3 verse 
in the Bible it says, the God of Abraham, huh. Isaac, and Jacob, okay. the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. Yep. So is it true that Jesus was the servant of God? Good question. Good question. Now, now we are making some progress. Okay. So now, didn't I say that God was always God? Yeah. He took on the flesh. The flesh has every characteristic of a human subject to God. The flesh was always subject to God and it will always be subject to God. The flesh, again, let me say the same thing. The flesh has a mother. The flesh has a genealogy. The flesh has a father. The flesh will die. The flesh is born. Yes, the flesh goes through the same thing that what we do. Jesus but that does not mean that the God the Godhead will go through all of that because Answer the, the question, God was Jesus the servant of God I just answered it yes I just answered it yes, yes I no. just answered it what did I say no, say yes. God will always be God he's yes. not a servant of God God is God. God please allow me again to repeat myself Jesus God. the Word of God took on flesh the flesh is the servant of God so I that, hope I'm clear so Jesus took on flesh so the flesh is the servant of God so Jesus took on flesh so the flesh you, is the servant of God so I'll give you saying, a, I'll give you a demonstration if I am God and I take on flesh I'm still God I have in addition to me flesh so you understand so the flesh will have all the characteristics of the quest the flesh so will be a servant of God so do you agree with the Bible that no, Jesus I was the, the brother so do you agree with your Bible that Jesus was the servant of God yes it's, yes how can God be the servant of God? Because, again, let me go back to the same thing. I said that the word of God is always God. At some point of time, the word of God takes on flesh because he can do it. The word of God can do it. He took on flesh. The flesh had all the characteristic of you and me, just like you and me. Okay. He had a mother, no stop. He had a mother, he had a father, he had a genealogy, he was crucified, he was born, he did everything like you and me. He ate, he drank, just like you and me, and that man. body was a servant of Allah. Okay, okay, okay. I hope I'm clear okay, now. Right. Don't ask okay. me to repeat okay. again, no, because I'll give you the same explanation. I won't listen. I'll give you the same explanation. I won't listen. In your Bible, hmm. Gospel according to John, listen carefully, in your Bible, Gospel according to John, chapter 13, verse 16. In the Bible it says, Jesus says, No servant is greater than his master. Is it true? Very good, yes, it is so true. So when Jesus was the servant of God, that means Jesus, the servant of God, is not greater than God. You're not listening is to it? me. You're is just it? not listening to me. You're just not listening to me. I said the word of God is always God, takes on an additional flesh. That flesh will never be greater than his master. That flesh is a servant of God. That flesh had a mother. That flesh had a father. That flesh had a genealogy. I hope I'm clear. That flesh died. That flesh died. That flesh was Jesus. Yes. Actually, hold on. Hold on. That that flesh was Jesus. Yes. Yes, that flesh was Jesus. The word of God is also Jesus. Flesh, Both are flesh. Jesus. Until you understand that, okay. you're going to ask me the same questions and I'm going to give you the no, same no, no, answer. No, no, no. Until you understand that, and I'm sorry so, you're not okay, able to understand so, it. So, 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 hold on. How many times? Hold, hold on. on. Later, let hold, on. hold on. Do you follow Jesus, yeah? Yes. Okay, let me give you a verse. We Muslim follow our Prophet Muhammad Okay. 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 Now, pig meat, According to our Holy Quran is haram. We cannot eat it. Yes. Our Prophet Muhammad did not eat it. Yeah. We do not eat it. Very now, good. You follow Jesus. Yes? yes. Yes. Let me give you the verse. In every Christian Bible, hmm. in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 8, in the Bible it says, Pig meat is unclean. Yes. Do not eat pig meat. Exactly. Nor even go near okay. the dead carcass of a pig. Yes. Now, Jesus never ate pig meat. Yes, he did not. Why is it 
Jesus never ate pig meat. And you tell us you follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jesus never ate pig meat. Why do you Christians eat pig meat? Why do you Christians? Okay, for the record, I do not eat pork. Okay. No. Yeah. Christians. Uh, Christians, yeah. But my family does eat pork. Yes. Yeah, why? Uh, okay, so why? Now, at the same, the same verse that you quoted, yeah. okay, says do not eat pig meat. It also says do not eat pa camel meat. So why did your prophet defy the commandment of God and allow you to eat camel meat? Because you answer me that and then the I will Quran. answer you about this. We have the what Holy the Quran. Healing? Show me in our Holy Quran. I showed you a verse from your Bible. Right. But pig meat is unclean. Exactly. So, not, so Muhammad... Said, Oh, God Quran. changed his mind in the no, Quran. No, no, huh? hold on, no, hold on. How did God change hold his mind? On, hold on, you are changing it. Not no, God. in the in the very same God. verse that you quoted, the very same verse that you quoted also says not to eat the camel because it's unclean okay, for you. It, now, it. how open. did your God okay. change your mind? Okay, change that, his mind. Open that verse now. Yeah, let's open it. I read it. Okay, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 14. Deuteronomy 14. Deuteronomy 14. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Well, you're the Christian. Yeah, but it says, you quoted the verse, right? So Give me the quotation. Now. Give me the quotation. Okay. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, verse 8. Verse 7. <laughs> I'll go to 7, yeah. Okay. 7 and 8. Okay. However, you may not eat the following animals. Those that chew the cud or, do, or those who have divided hoofs. The camel, the hare. The rock badger. Read now tell me, beginning. why do you eat the camel? Read what authority did Muhammad say that you can eat the camel? No, you please you tell me. Not no, you tell me. That's I will answer your question. Word. That's you a different verse. The same verse. That's the same Please. passage. Okay. Look at this. No. Look at this. Okay, okay. here. 14, yeah. 8, from See, the beginning. You are being selective. I'm from, taking I'm taking verse 7. You took only 8. I'm taking 7. From the beginning. Exactly. Okay. So he tells you not to eat the camel. No. Now with what authority, eight, how eight, can eight, you ask eight. me about pork okay. when you eat camel? Okay. First you stop eating okay. camel. No, the, stop listening to Muhammad. Follow hold Jesus hold because hold Jesus is the way, the hold truth hold and the life. Hold on. Is this in no, your Bible? Is this in my Bible? Yes, it is in my Bible. I'm reading Show from it. Show me in our Holy Quran where it says we cannot eat camel meat. God does not change his mind. So therefore, the Quran is wrong. So yes. if God can't... God will not change no, his mind. Not, therefore, no. the Quran okay. is wrong. No, Stop believing wrong. the Quran. Come wrong. to the Bible. Read the Bible. Yeah. Jesus is the way, the yeah. truth, yeah. and the life. Yeah. Come to Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. Where does Jesus say in the Bible? Mm -hmm. Where does Jesus say in the Bible? that he is God. Show me the verse. Right? I will show you the verse. Yeah. And if I show you the verse? Ah, you cry now. You cry now. Revelations. Revelations chapter 1 verse 18. Be quiet. Revelations. Okay, okay. Hold on. Revelations chapter 1 verse 18. Revelations chapter 2 verse 18. Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the Almighty. What more do you want? He says that he is the Almighty. He said before Abraham was, I am. Father, glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world began. If that is not God, then who is? So did you say Jesus was the Almighty? Jesus said he was the Almighty. Did Jesus die on the cross? <laughs> Did they answer this three times before? Let me answer it again. Let me answer it again. I said the word of God is God. God does not be. If God cannot be born, God cannot die because you're answering the same question. Let me let me finish. Jesus, the word of God, the word of Jesus is both the word of God and the flesh. At some point of time, the word of God took on flesh. The word of God, the word of God took on flesh at some point of time. The word of God cannot die. The word of God is not born. The word of God has no genealogy. The flesh, the flesh died. The flesh has a genealogy. He said, word of God is Jesus. And he said, Jesus died. Now he said, Haven't you heard this before? Haven't you heard the same answer before? You do not understand. Ask me how it is possible. That would be a better question. But you're not explaining properly. That is the only explanation. If you okay, do not understand okay, it, okay, there's nothing okay. more that I could do. Okay. There are some things that you will not understand you because said, it's beyond your comprehension. Said, there will be some things that though I don't understand because said, it's beyond my comprehension. But okay. here I am very clear. You the said, word of God is always God. The word of God is everlasting. So 
so, the word of God has no beginning so, and no end. The so, word of God does not have a mother so, or a father. So, the word of God is God. He is God. The word of God is God. Jesus in the flesh. The flesh had a mother. The flesh had a father. The flesh had a genealogy. The flesh died on the cross. I hope I'm clear now. So Jesus died on the cross. Yes. Jesus was born. And he said, Jesus is God. He said, God can't be born. Then he said, Jesus is God. Jesus was born. Clearly, you are not listening. Clearly, he was not listening. Okay, I think I you have to go back and check what I, wrote, what I said. Way. Okay, can I ask you? When you said Jesus was always God, yes? Now, when Jesus was born, was baby Jesus God? I'm tired. I just okay. asked the same, I answered the same thing. I just answered you. So this Again, your baby. Let me try a different, a different approach. Yeah. So okay. You run away, yeah? So did your baby. I'm go talking to you, not him. Okay, yeah. yeah. You said something. I'm here. Right. I'm tired of asking the same question again and again. The same question okay. again and again. All right? Because he doesn't from understand. Probably my explanation. Different angle. You're running away yeah. from different angles. Okay. Did baby Jesus grow up? The flesh. Baby Jesus had grow up. Please, huh? Flesh Hold on. The word of God is always eternal. It is neither created nor did, can it die. It does did, not. It does okay. not have a mother nor a father. The word of Mary God. At one, please, at one point of time, the flesh. Okay. Uh, Yesu Akbar. Okay. okay. Yeah, at some point, Akbar, Yeshu Akbar. Because he died. Yeah, Yeshu Akbar. Because Not he because died. he died, because he's God. Because and you will have to answer no, him one day. You died. will bow down. Every down. knee will bow Can and every tongue answer. will confess answer. that Jesus answer. is God. Answer. Says the Bible. Answer. Says the Bible. Answer. I already Let answered me. you. Answer. I already okay. answered okay. you. Answer. Did that's, baby that's a nice one when you don't have an answer, right? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Did baby Jesus grow up? Yes, yeah. baby Jesus grew up. Right. Did, baby Jesus ate like us. Did, Jesus, a baby okay, Jesus okay. did everything like us. Did, Don't save yourself from another question. Did baby God grow up? No, because I told you God cannot be born. What God Jesus cannot God? die. I just what told Jesus you that. God? What Jesus God? <laughs> he was both God and he was man. Now he and says he was both God and man. I said it right at the beginning. So you didn't hear me. So I didn't hear. You didn't hear me. So he was born. The flesh was born like man. The, the word of God is eternal and was always God. So that flesh who was born was that the flesh of Jesus. Yes. Right. So Jesus was born. The flesh of Jesus was born, of course. Was you born? I was born. Was Jesus born? Jesus was born. So the flesh. Was What's the difference between God and you? You said you were born and Jesus was born. You are man. Jesus was a man. Yeah, very Jesus good. Was, at oh, least yeah, now, good. at least now we're making some progress. Yeah. What's the difference between both of us? It's because I am not the word of God. I might be flesh completely like you and me. Jesus is also like me and you completely in the flesh. But at the same time, he was also the word of God. And that is the difference. And until you understand that difference, you're going to ask me the same questions in different ways yeah, and I have to give you the same same answers yeah. because unlike you and me he was also the word of God okay. and the word of God was always there from beginning to end the word of God is from eternity what? to eternity okay. the word of God is the Alpha and the Omega the word of God is the beginning and the end the word of God is neither created nor can it die okay. but Jesus was flesh and in addition to that he was also the word of God so Jesus please was understand a, that so Jesus was a man so he was creation. He was creation. He was creation. When you say, when you say that Jesus was a man, it means he was creation. Didn't I also say that he was the word of God? Didn't I also say, why are you ignoring it? Because it's uncomfortable for you. Because no. it's something that you do not want to accept. Okay, but there ask. will come a time when you have to accept let me, it. Let me ask you. You are uncomfortable of I'm accepting not, it. Not. I said he was also the word of God. Did Remember, you know? now you tell me, can the word of God be destroyed? Or can the word of God be born? Okay, let me ask you. Now I'm asking you a question. Jesus can the word of God be born? Yeah. Can Why the word of God? Born? Exactly. God so when I tell you that Jesus was also the word of God, don't ask me this question again okay. because I have to give you the same no, answer. No, no, this time I'm going to ask you the question. Bro, bro, let's move. Have you read Maryam about that? Brother, let's, brother, let's move forward. Okay. Every baby, baby boy or girl who is born, 
they are given milk to drink yes now did your god jesus drink his mother mary's milk can the word of god drink milk Oh, answer Jesus, no i'm asking you because Jesus, i've answered yeah, the same thing just now just now just now i asked can the word of god drink milk well, the word of god did. jesus drink can the can god drink milk can does god drink milk no well, can no well, 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 no jesus exactly well, exactly okay. Okay. exactly okay. so the word of god doesn't need to drink milk so but the flesh brother, jesus is the word of god answer this, answer this question every baby you can ask me later on i'll come to you yeah Every brother, sabar. Every baby, every every baby born needs milk. Okay. To stay alive, to yeah. grow up. Okay. Now, can I ask you? Is it true nowadays they they don't breast feed the babies? Many babies. What do they do? You know, they buy it from the pharmacy or something, and they give them that milk. Okay. Now, so. Jesus drank yeah. in those days the mothers used to provide milk for their children yeah. so how so can Jesus be God brother so i'm asking you is it true that Jesus drank his mother mary's milk yeah. yes yes can the word of god uh, i'm coming back uh, yeah. i'm coming back Go. Does the word of God need to drink milk from his mother? Does no. the word of God have a mother? What's what your, did I say before? What did no? I'm I'm talking about what I said before. I want to check. Hold on. I want to check whether you heard. I want to check whether you heard what I said before. Does the word of God have a mother? Did I say that? Did I say the word of God has a mother? Okay, does Jesus. Did, no, you answer my question first. I will answer you. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, oh, Jesus. So did Jesus Does have a the word of God have a mother? Did I say does okay. the word of God has Why a mother? Don't you, did Why don't you answer my question? Why don't you answer my question? Why don't you answer my question? No, you're not answering my question. What did I say before? What did I say before? I'm here right here. He is going to run away. I am right here. Excuse me. Okay. Answer me, brother. Answer the question. Mm. Yeah. Did answer the question. <laughs> answer the question. No, that's a clown. Why? Is clown is come here. Okay. That's a Why? Clown. I so many time I'm asking you. Just answer the question. Is it true that Jesus like every baby in those days? Is it true? Oh, I said, I said. Is it true that Jesus drank his mother Mary's milk? Yes. I said it before and I'm going to say it again uh, because there's a new audience okay. here so eat and there's drink a new and audience here hold on hold on I'm, I'm talking to him to I'm talking to him, to him. Brother, do you me. want him brother do you want him to talk to me I'm here bro come talk to me brother this is not going to approve man brother this is come on Come, come talk to me, man. He Do you want to run away? I'm, I'm here. speaking to okay. him. Okay, brother, brother, brother. But I will not run away from you. Don't worry. You are drink and put your heart in easy. But come if on. you see any come people, am I talking to you or to talking to him? Should I answer him or should I answer you? Debate going on. Okay. Now how long? What are you talking about? Okay. Don't say shame on him. Okay, because you are talking. Let me uncle, uncle, let me speak to him. No, you will not. This is a debate. Well, let me speak to him. This is a debate going on. Okay. Now how long? What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay. So. Right so you ask okay, did so Jesus yeah. drink his mother's milk so answer yeah. depends on what you're looking at again sabar. i told sabar okay for sabar yeah. the christian so okay. answer no exactly. now you are talking okay carry okay, on okay 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 carry on you are telling now you are okay, talking okay so be okay depends okay. on who you're looking at okay. again i told you right at the beginning jesus is the word of god the word of god was never created the word of god was always existing please hear me out the word was of god is always in existence the word of god does not die the word of god is not born the word of god did please understand please hear me out the word of god you speaking i'm listening the word you are speaking no you are speaking please no because you're interrupting you were interrupting you were interrupting again the word of god is eternal okay. the word of god is not born okay. the word of god does not die it is always eternal at talking? some point of time okay. the word of god took on flesh in word? addition to being the word of god okay. listen to the word in addition to being the word of god it took Making on flesh 
took on creation took on creation that creation was created by the word of god that creation had a mother that creation was born that creation drank from his mother's milk that creation ate like you and me that creation died that creation did everything like you and me listen did everything like you and me but that creation did it not the word of god and jesus was both the word of god and the flesh stop. at the same time stop why should i stop because stop. you're not listening to so, me stop so you said that yes finally he said yes jesus drank his milk so where jesus drank his mother mary's milk was he god no did he uh, grow up i said the flesh does everything like you and me did you be quiet very one creature quiet. one creature yeah. did very like, you know, did very Why you are speaking yeah, now? Okay. He's speaking to him. Go over I'm, there and I'm speak. To him. Okay, okay, go okay, over no. there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. So okay. baby Jesus you agree that baby Jesus drank Mary's milk. Yes. Now, did baby Jesus grow up? Now you have to refer to which one? You're talking about the word of God which is Jesus or the baby Jesus, the flesh? Baby which one? Jesus did they grow which up? Which one? Which one? The word of God because I said there are two Jesus, Jesus two was natures. both two natures human nature the human and nature. as the divine yes, yes. so which one now you ask no you answer let me be quiet let okay, him speak. Okay, okay. Okay. okay now you answer one me Muslim you asked me a question yeah. did Jesus grow up so which one are you talking about he has again two natures the divine nature or the flesh so which one are you talking about Jesus oh no both he's both so which you one both because the, 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 the no, no, both he's both he has, he has done with you bro he yeah, has he's done, done with yeah. you bro. okay he's You're done, done. Yeah. don't worry okay so so which one are you talking about jesus the divine jesus. or the flesh i got a clue here okay are you talking quiet. about the divine Daddy, be quiet are you okay. talking about jesus the word of god or are you talking about jesus the flesh there's only one jesus no okay. he is both He is there is one Jesus Obviously but he is both one. he has two natures okay. the god okay okay the nature Jesus was born on earth that nature so did Jesus grow that, up the one which was born or not yes that one grew up so did god oh i finally so, we're making some progress so did god grow up <coughs> okay now you're asking did the divine grow up you said the one which was born on earth did it grow up yes did god grow up no because he was both so jesus was a god then Yes. Part of understanding Jesus, Jesus please understand Jesus had two natures one is divine one is flesh the flesh did everything including eating drinking growing and other biological please functions say. except get married because please Jesus say. never got married please okay say. i hope and no please hear me out because you're going to ask me the same question again no, the I'm flesh not. went through everything like us okay. just like you and me Stop. no difference between you and me Stop. if No don't ask me the same question as no, to did he, did Jesus do this or did Jesus do that if you did it and i did it then the flesh Jesus did it also Can but Jesus also? is also divine Can and I? that nature the divinity Can did not you? partake in any of these Can I give yeah. you a verse from your bible Yeah pa at last in the book of acts okay chapter 13 okay verse 34 mm-hmm. it says God the Bible says God raised him mm-hmm. Jesus from the dead mm. so that he will never decay mm-hmm. so is it true that when your Jesus was crucified he was raised up by God the flesh so was Jesus raised up by God Jesus himself raised him Jesus the word of god raised jesus no. the word of god raised jesus But you know what jesus word, said no. you know what jesus said this was this destroy was. this temple and i will raise it in 3 days okay, jesus was still existing this as god this the flesh word, this, did you say let me let me know when you finished did you say that god jesus raised jesus up exactly All right But very this, good thank this, you this was says <coughs> book of acts chapter 13 verse 34 in your bible it says god raised him jesus from the dead mm-hmm. it doesn't say 
God Jesus raised Jesus up. But it says God raised Jesus up from the dead. Yes. Yes. Jesus is God. So did God Jesus raise uh, his dead own Jesus? flesh? His own flesh. So Jesus raised his own flesh. Why do we know that Jesus himself did it? Because Jesus, one, Jesus is God. So, and two, he prophesied about it, saying, destroy this temple and I will raise it in three okay, days. He didn't say, okay. my father will raise it in three days. Okay. He said, I will raise it in three days. No, in not. three days, in three days, he raised his own one. flesh. Okay. Are you saying, <coughs> are you saying, when you say God the Father, are you saying, that God the Father was Jesus himself. Was God the Father Jesus himself? Very good question. Now let me ask you, the, I will ask you the question. Uh, you clarify, clarify answer, for me. Is my word me? Answer. Is my word me? Answer. I am asking you the question because no, you didn't understand it right at the no, beginning. No. I no, told you not. the word of God is God, okay. but you failed to understand Listen that to the word of God is God. Okay. The word of God is God. Is okay. my word mine? Listen. Is my word mine? Brother. That's not true. My Brother. word is not me. Hey, my word is you. Brother. My word is you. Yeah, then I can say something. I can say something and then you'll go to jail for it. Yeah, my word is me. Come on, come on, come on. No, I'm not assuming because I know. Because if my word is you, if my word is you, then if I say something wrong, you go to jail for it, not me. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. So you said that God Jesus raised up Jesus. Yes? His own flesh. So you His own flesh, please. His own flesh. Okay, if God Jesus raised up dead Jesus from the tomb, then are you saying God the Father is Jesus himself? The, the, the clarity that you require is the word of God is God himself. The word of God is God. Jesus, right? Jesus. So the, when we say God, we are referring to the Father. When we say Word of God, we are referring to Jesus. But both are one and the same. So are you saying? Hear, o Israel, so our God is one. one. That is why we say, Hear, o Israel, our God is one. So because God and His one, Word, three. because God and His Word are the same. Okay. So God and His Word so are the same. So, so one is always one, yes? Yes. So where do you get the Trinity? Three in one, one in three. Because the word of God and God are the same. <laughs> Therefore, the word of God, we count it as one. God himself, we, God, we count it as one. The spirit of God is one. So Jesus raised up Jesus. Jesus, Jesus the word of God, raised up his own flesh. No, no, What's I, wrong with that? That's not according to the Bible. So Jesus that's not according to the Bible? Jesus. I don't know, you got so, some of the Bible then. So Jesus himself yeah. is you look God at the, Bible, the Father. The Bible doesn't say that. Of course yeah. he said it. He said, destroy this temple and I will raise it in three days. That's your That's not my opinion. That's the Bible. I can show you the word. If I show that to you, will you accept it? If I show that to you, will you accept that? No, but the Bible explain what the word is. Yes, the Bible says what the word is. And John 1.1. 1, 1. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus is God. Okay, okay, okay. Why, why you don't okay. I respect your opinion. You understand. Yeah. But what I want okay. to say, the Bible. Can I, can I talk to you after? Yes, yeah, the, the Bible defines what the word of God is. Brother, sabar. Okay, brother. Brother. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So when you said that God, so when you said, when you said God Jesus raised up Jesus from the dead, yeah. So that means it's a bit difficult to, to take it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. Can you, as a human being, understand God? Can you, as a human being, understand God? No, 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 it's okay. You can be anything. But you, can you understand God and how He works? Can I understand God? How yeah. He works? Yeah, exactly. Do you understand His knowledge? His Everything is infinitely ahead of us. We cannot understand God. We cannot understand God. We believe as Muslim that God is great. Exactly. We He's all powerful. That God is great. He's all but, powerful. Yeah, Don't but, even attempt to understand him. You will not be able to understand him. If you understand him as you understand your God, then that is not God. 
Okay. Anything that a human mind can understand is not God. Okay. God is infinitely above your understanding. Don't even try to understand God Him. If God you can, please understand. If you can, then you're following the wrong God. Now, now, now let me come with you now, my brother. You're wrong. His own logic says brother, it. We cannot understand God. I was there and I heard Therefore, if you understand God, He's not God. Says. That's what the Quran says. My brother. Oh, that's what the Quran says. I was there and I heard you spoke to the brother. Yeah. And you tell Where's him. He? Oh, don't worry. He, went away. he passed on to me. Oh, he passed on to you. Because okay. what he knows, I know it's also. We Muslims. It's, 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 it's the same it's thing. He's exhausted. So what I heard him said to you, <coughs> Jesus God. So you believe that Jesus is God. Can God die? Is it a yes or no, my brother? So I want you to ask me any question and I'm going to answer you. No, because I answered I this question. You a question. I, I wasn't answered, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you Can were not God there. Die? I, I know you were not there, but, but I answered this question at least a dozen times to him. Yes or no? So no it's a yes or no question. It's not a yes or no. It is. Okay. I am Let me do. You. God is cannot me die. There with no, you. he cannot I'm die. Right in front of you. Good. He cannot die. Now, if but God God not die. every question you is a yes or no. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. No. Let me set the. Let me set the ground. Yeah. So not every question is a yes or no. So let me determine whether it's a yes or no question because you're asking me. So don't put me in a box to say yes or no. So you have to give me the liberty, right? Okay. You cannot dictate to me, you know, it's a yes or no question. All right. yes. I'm not dictating, yeah. okay. but I'm going to say to you, look at how clever I am. I'm going to show you how clever I am. I am asking you a yes or no question. If you don't want to tell me, you do not want it. Do you want it or you don't want Again, it? Again, I'm telling you, when you ask me a question, okay. you can't tell me the answer is yes or no. no. This answer. is my question. I give you. This is me asking you. Okay. Okay. I'm not asking him. Okay. So I'm telling you my question. If you ask yes me the question, no. you're so giving me the liberty to this. You're asking the same question. Yes. Ask me the same question. Thank you. Thank ask you, my No, you're question. telling me to ask you the same, ask question. The same question. No, we are in agreement. We are all in agreement. God is not born. God cannot die. God is not created. Good. We are all in cre in, in agreement on this. Die. Yes. So, so I, I hope I'm clear. No, I hope I'm clear. clear. We are also of the same belief. You're clear. You're clear. Yeah. So I want to try to understand. If God cannot die, I know that. My brothers know that. You most probably, I'm saying most probably, know that. How can Jesus be God? Because your Bible tells you that Jesus was crucified. Your Bible tells you that Jesus was in the tomb for three days so if jesus died god's supposed to die too i know it's not but you telling me that jesus is god so if jesus is god i want to clarify how jesus died and god is still alive that's what we want to know that's all we want to know as yeah. muslim okay give, give me five minutes and let me explain I give you 10, 20 minutes Go ahead. give me five minutes okay because i have to start right at the beginning yeah, 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 yeah. so the bible tells us and even the quran says that jesus jesus is the word of god kalimatullah which means the word of god yes. the bible clearly very clearly tells us jesus is the word of god yes. i do not know what you believe but if you're hearing me now you're saying that my word is me right again i can go to a court of law and if you if they take my recording and i cannot say no that is only my word that's not me right because my word in any place in this world my word is me it is me that's according to you can, now, he's interrupting give the brother now so how can jesus good. be god give the man a chance my jesus brother be god? you tell me you want me to read, read the Surah Maryam for you? <laughs> leave him, give him, give him a chance, my brother. He's explaining something ah, to I, me. I'm just one person, I'm not God. I can't talk to all of you all at the same time. Please understand, I'm human. I can't talk to all of you all at the same time. Now you decide, do you want me to answer him? Or do you want me to answer him or you? No, no, you have five minutes. Answer you. Answer you. Don't worry, my brother. I'm there, I'm there. Don't worry. I'm there. The same thing you're going to ask. I'm going to ask the same thing. So I'm on your side. So, so I've got your question for you. Go ahead. Okay. Shall I start again? No, you can okay. go whenever. Jesus is the word of God, yeah. right? The word of God is eternal. The word of God is God. The word of God is not created. The word of God, as we spoke before, cannot die, is not born, and is not flesh. Okay? But at some point in time, the word of God, in addition to being the word of God, the word of God is always the word of God, in addition to being the word of God, 
also took on flesh. Took on flesh. And when we say took on flesh, it's taken on a human form. So the Word of God continues to be a human, uh, to be the Word of God, but He also takes on a human form. That human form lives, breathes, dies, drinks, as this mad gentleman asked, uh, drinks from his mother's milk, does everything that you and I would do, including die and be buried. Everything except that he didn't get married, so he did not have to consummate a marriage. Other than that, he did every single thing like all of us did. But that did not say at that no point of time did he cease being the word of God because this was in addition, in addition to the so now Jesus. Let me finish. So now Jesus has two natures. When you refer to Jesus, you have to refer to one of them and ask me the question. Jesus, the divine nature of Jesus, which is a God, which is God, which is always eternal. Or the flesh, which is temporal, which was here on earth for some time and did everything like you and me. So now when you're asking me a question, ask me according to one of those two natures. You want me to ask you what you want yeah. me to ask you? No, 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 no. When you're asking me the question, you should ask. When you say, when but, did but Jesus do this? Clarity. You must ask. Point of clarity. I'm asking. Yeah. Okay. okay. Being the word of God, the Quran yeah, again. You're familiar with the Quran? Yes. Right. And you're familiar that Allah called Jesus the yes. Word of God? Yes. You're familiar with that? I'm familiar with that. Now, I understand your, your argument as to what is the Word of God. Exactly. But you okay. also would understand in your Bible, as well as in the Quran, agrees on what the Word of God is. Okay. But so according to, to the Bible, according to the Bible, All right. 10, according to the Bible, 10, when God, 30. in Genesis 1, Jesus when said, God was going to create the, the Word, He said a word, if and that word was be. And it became in Quran. Whenever Allah is going to create something, He says, "Be," and it becomes. Yes. So the word of God is "be." It's a command. Now, there, his personal opinion, and I respect that a lot. Yeah, he's, he's of a course. good brother. Now, here what happened? The Trinity is very complex, and even an intelligent man like him will wrap himself in barbed wires to explain the Trinity. What he doesn't know is that early Christianity for 100 years did not believe in the Trinity. Trinity was born in Europe when it went to Europe. Now, is this a teaching? Time. Just a minute, one second. Can you give me, can give you give me equal time? Yeah. Give me one second. I'll give you five minutes. Yeah, I've got to come I'm, to you I'm also. I'm only saying to you. I am simply saying to you. I'm only saying, I'm going to stop now. The concept of the Trinity will destroy the integrity of a very intelligent man. You could be a science minded to the highest level. You try to justify the Trinity, you'll end up being a fool. Now, the concept, now listen, if a religion, if you want to speak, just speak. Don't just whisper in his ears, man. To you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go, now, ahead. go ahead. What I'm saying today is this: the concept of the Trinity, concept of a Trinity. If one is arguing a religion, one of the things you have to do is establish two proofs: the originality of that religion in place and time, the origin, because the original story is always the best story. If something happened here now, and that travel around the world in ten days' time, a hundred days' time, the story changes. If you want to get the originality or the authenticity of a religion, you must go back to the earliest stages of that religion in place and in time and language. Now, yeah, exactly. Trinity as a concept was not established in the time of Jesus or in the first hundred years of Christianity. Trinity was born in Europe under the father Constantine. So anybody who have adopted the Trinity is a belief. Uh, you said Constantine for the first is your daddy. Yeah, you said, a minute. One you, no, you, there's a contradiction here. That's no, why right, I'm no, correcting right. you. You continue. Yes. You said Constantine you came three, more than 300 years later. No. You said for 100 years there was no Trinity. Yes. And you're right there because yes. 120 yes. or 130 no, years there was the no Christians, Trinity. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to stop now. Mm. I promise you that. The Christians, mm. for the first 100 years of Christianity, who believe in God as one, Jesus being a separate entity, and the Holy Ghost being three separate entities, not all in one, those Christians was called the... They could call Christians. No, no. There's a special name for them. We call the proto-foundational Christians. And those Christians did not believe in the Trinity. Now, I'm only, I'm going to stop now. I'm only trying to say your version of Christianity only started when it went under Constantine. That's my okay. point. Sure, can I? That's can it. I? Okay. Okay, no, so no, 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 no. I, I need to respond to him. Okay, so I need to respond to him. So uh, he spoke about the Trinity. Yeah.
you want time? Or yeah, go on. No, go on, I, go on, I allowed go on, him to go speak. Go Let him allow me to yeah, speak. That's all. Yeah, and then it's fair. So he was speaking about the Trinity not being there at the time of Jesus or the first few, uh, the apostolic times. Very true. The Trinity was not mentioned by word. Thank you very it was not there. So not just for 100 years. For actually more than 130, 140 years. Okay. Okay. The first person was not Constantine, okay. and so, because Constantine came more than 340 or odd years okay. later. Okay. It was Tertullian who was, uh, I think, in the year 200 who first proposed the word Trinity. Now, the word Trinity is not found in the Bible, but that doesn't mean the concept does not agree in the Bible. The concept is very much in the Bible. Just like the word Tawheed, which you believe in, is not in the Quran, but you still believe in it. So the word, the concept of Tawheed is in the Quran. You believe it's not in the Quran. You believe in it. The, the word Trinity is not in the Bible. We believe in it. So don't bring that yardstick because both of these words, the Tawheed. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. So the word Tawheed doesn't. Now you can say it is in this hadith or that hadith. It is not in your first sources. The same yardstick that you use for me. It's not in your first sources. Therefore, we have to reject it. So the same yardstick. Tawheed is fundamental to Islamic belief, but yet it's not mentioned. It's not mentioned in the Quran. Trinity is fundamental to our Christian belief. It was codified 120 years later. And so I, I find no problem with this. And why were we forced to come up with this word Trinity? You can eliminate the word and we still have it. Okay, because the word of God is living, unlike my word, which tomorrow, today goes somewhere else, it is absolutely, it, it's dead. The Word of God is alive. The Word of God is living. The Word of God is the one that creates. The Word of God is all-powerful. It's the Creator. The Word of God is the Creator. Remember. Now, yeah, the Word of God is the Creator. At some point of time, the Word of God, in addition to being the Word of God, took on flesh. Okay? So that's why I was saying, hereafter, when you ask me a question about Jesus, ask me a question about His divinity being the Word of God, which is eternal, which does not die, or the flesh of Jesus who did everything that you and me did. Okay, so I hope I'm clear now. So where did we get this doctrine from? John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. John makes it very clear. Yeah, but this is what the Bible is saying. Yeah. You know what a lot of okay. people okay. believe. Yeah. You know what a lot of people... Let this guy talk. Go ahead. Okay, okay. No, you go ahead. No, I showed him the word. No, go ahead. No, go he on. wanted to respond to me. You see, what a lot of people believe, I think Christian, because we Muslim doesn't believe this. I know that. Yeah. Because what happened is, you believe that God says the word was God, and the word was with God, and the word is God. So, just because Jesus speak and say things, Christian believe that Jesus is also God. But don't forget, we believe as Muslims. And Jesus is also God. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Yeah. I'm not talking to you, my brother, because you're not ready to talk. <laughs> believe me, I'm not. I'm talking to this man. Okay. Yeah. So okay. we Muslim believe that Jesus is a prophet. Peace be unto him as all the other prophets. We don't believe that Jesus create this and cre Jesus create the heaven and the earth. And we believe in one God. God has no part for us Muslim to get to Jannah, for us Muslim to have a salvation, we need to believe that Jesus, that God is one and one only. So going on to this Trinity and all of that, we don't believe that. Let me ask a question: Who is older, Jesus or Adam? Again, I, I, ask, I told you. you a question. I told you. you. Give me Answer me. Okay, ask me the question according to his divinity no. or his humanity. No, no, no. Which Who one? Who is older, Jesus or Adam? Okay, so let me ask. Let me ask. According to his divinity, there's no older because God is timeless. My brother, no. According. My brother.